Good morning my Stitchy friends. Welcome to my channel Stitcher Rala. Well today we have quite an interesting one. I'm going to unbox my two 16 counts that do not wash out. And after that I'm going to show you my process of the ones that I'm going to save and the ones that don't wash. So it's going to be informative for those who want to know and those who don't. I'm just showing the Stitchy family that wants to know how to save their canvases. So please don't buy the new eight, the, the, the old 18 and 16 count. Um, the shops I have been in contact with them, Paint Some Way will tell you this can't wash out if you order and let you re-choose. So be careful when you, when you buy because they have a solution. They are printing new ones. So just give it a while and ask before you buy if you really want to buy now. For now, I'm not buying. I'm going to wait till everything is circulated and I'll make sure I buy washable ones. But this is an informative video and an unboxing to show you what I did. And yes, I used bleach. But in any way, let's start. Okay, let's start with this one. There's the picture. It's just amazing. I love it. I adore it. I think the new ones are going to come out with the washable fabrics, but for now, I don't know. So I can't answer that question, but if I don't find the same images, I will be trying to save mine, but it is savable from my side, and that is just because I put a hell of a job in it. So it's not for the faint-hearted, and I'm going to explain and show you the products I use today on this video. Okay, so you can still watch the picture while I just sort this out. So let's put this. This is the non-washable still. Okay, so let's start. Picture gone. Uh, this is a 16 count. 60 by 45. It is printed on my favorite film. I just love it. It's durable. And then... This, you get it in 11 count as well, but I wanted it in 16 count. I think it's going to look amazing in 16 count. So, let's have a look here. It's got 40 colors. The, the pattern is amazing. It's 16 count, 60 by 45 centimeters. And let me show you the colors. There you go. So nothing wrong with the pattern. Excellent. What is number 29? There's a lot of 3799 in here. We will check a bit later. I think it must be a beige color or brown. But there's a bit of that in. Uh, we will check out how this looks just now. So let's carry on. Okay. Standard with these patterns. You get your tips and trick sheet. And that is for beginners, very handy if they don't know what to do. And here's the canvas. All right. Okay. So the canvas is very well printed. It is searched all the way around, 40 colors, 16 count, 60 by 45 centimeters. And everything looks good, but it's not. This canvas cannot wash out. I have managed to find a way, but I'll show you. It's not totally, but I'll show you what I did. Okay, so I am not going to close this. Yeah, I'm not going to. I'm going to show you the rest, and I'm going to open it again to show you exactly how I feel about it. So standard with these, you get your five needles, thimble, needle threader, and your puff ball. There you go. Hope everyone can see. It's a cold morning, but the sunshine is right in my eyes. Now, let's look at the pretty, pretty floss we got. Sorry for the crinkle. I will be putting all my 16 and 18 and 14 count that cannot wash in a separate basket. See what I replace, what can be replaced, I will see. And if the image that I'm in love with can't be replaced, I will make this plan because it will work. Alright, this is all the extra skins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven extra hanks of floss. And they are beautiful. The floss are amazing. So they're very pretty, but let's not 
pack them away. Let's put them there. And let's have a look. Ooh, this is such dreamy colors here. Yeah, let's see. It's very dreamy. I haven't opened them yet. So I haven't seen them. Let's see how beautiful. They're very light and beige and creamy. <laughs> oh, this is a mission. Look at that. That's how I can't. This <laughs> not fun. Aha. Still not fun. Look at this. Sorry, I need to fix this. I will not be able to show you like this. It will bug me. Okay. Very light and fluffy. Very, very, very nice. Okay, let me show you. It is 1 to 18. Very, very beautiful. And then we have 19 to 36. And if I open them for you, it looks like that. It's beautiful. Very, very pretty. Such light. You know what I mean? Very light. So 37 to 40. And let me show you together. Let me put the light in the back because everything's light. The extra skins is all dark. So look at that. Just beautiful. Very, very pretty, light and creamy. Now, before I pack these colors away, let's investigate. All right, let's see. Now, I can see what I've done with that canvas, and I can cover everything, basically. I got the red out. I got the... Nah, no problem. Let me see. Nah. Okay, I'm just going to do this for interest's sake. If you don't do what I did, you might have a problem with 30... And 30 is nah you won't have a problem after you wash 30 let me just see here if I'm right after you wash it this will cover 30 but if you do what I do you won't even see it the red is 22 no no problem it will cover it and it will cover your grid lines as well and I will show you because I've got proof. I've got a working proof. Okay. So I don't want to show you what I did, but I'll show you why I say so. Look here, you can't see grids. Can you see grids? That color is darker than that color. Look, you cannot see the grids in between. Only where I didn't work. Look. Wait. I'm trying to do this properly. You cannot see. This will be covered. I will show you this whole thing now. now because I have one. Okay. So there is no problem. That's the red, the purple. 23 is your green. It's also a... Nah. If you do what I do, you can do this canvas. If you bought it, you can save it. If you want to wait, you wait. But it all depends on you. This is only for people that want to save their canvases. Don't go and buy one and make yourself this work because it takes two days to do what I did. Alrighty then. So that's the green. It's even darker than that. And that canvas had all these colors in and they are almost gone and they do cover the grid. Now I want to see the lightest color on this. To see. And look how little there is. The lightest color. There's two strings of 42. And then 40 will be, oh, the little green equal sign. You can't even see them that's there. And this all comes out. And it's so little. This canvas, I can do because I know it will be saved. And let me tell you one thing. Now everyone's going to ask, how did I not color my threads? I've lied my threads in Jeek. Jake is bleach, clean bleach, and the color didn't come out, and I did it for three to four hours. Well, I'll tell you about that, no, no. All righty then, let me pack this away. So, I know for a fact, if I can't, and if I want to replace my image, is less work, but if I don't want to replace it, and if I can't get this image again, I can totally do this image, you know? That makes me super duper happy and got super happy. Okay, so that is this image. Let's jump on over to the next one. Here's a picture. While you stare at that beautiful picture, I'm getting everything sorted here and making a big racket. Okay, all right. 
let's do this. Throw that noisy thing away. Alrighty then, now you've seen that picture gone. Standard with these, you get your tips and trick sheet. And that's very handy for a beginner's teacher. If you don't want to read, you can just watch my videos. The pattern is printed on that film. It's shiny film and it's durable and I love it. The pattern on this one is small. Very, very small. It's going to be damaging to the eyes. You're going to have to blow this up if you want to use the pattern. There's 40 colors and I'm in love with this image. This image is amazing. So if I cannot... I don't know if I replace them because I found a way. So I don't know. It's a personal choice. And I'll see what I do. As soon as the washables comes out, I will make videos, show you, and say, okay, this is the green light go. Now, the pattern says 16, count 60 by 45 centimeters, and it's printed very small. Too small for 16 count, I must say. Because you do get problems where you can't see, and you do need your patterns on your 16 and 18 count. Quite frankly, you do need them. And this is too small. But that's the pattern. Not printed big enough. Uh, let's look at the canvas. Search all the way around for our convenience. And it is 16 count, 60 by 45 centimeters, 40 colors. Did I show you the colors? Oh, it doesn't really... Must I do it now? Okay, let's just do it again. I'll do it quickly again so you can see. Because I don't know if I've done it. Sorry if I'm wasting your time. I'll just do a quick one like this. There you go. This brain of mine this morning. Now when I look at this canvas, all I see is that dark. But I managed to get it out. But a lot of you will not be willing to do what I do. So do not buy it until you can wash it if you're not prepared to do the job. It took two days or a portion of two days. But I will show you. So everything printed well, everything very good. But the problem is it does not wash out. But I will tell you my secret just now. It's not really a secret, but I went the extra mile. And I'll show you which canvases don't wash out at all. So yes. This is a beautiful, magnificent picture. I just want to see something here. Oh, what is that? Where is the boat? There's a boat and this. This is... I can't see now. Okay, but we will check it out just now. Let's do that. All right, standard with these, you get your thimble, poof ball, needle threader, and five needles. Chuck that there and turn it around. Let's look at the pretty floor. Okay, so the thread is amazing. They're dark as well, but there is light one. So let's see. Oh, it's so beautiful. Much darker than the one before though. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, pretty, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve extra skins of floss, and they are beautiful, very, very pretty. Let's put them aside. Oh, wow, okay. Now, this one's got bright, bright colors in, and lots of reds and purples, and it's just beautiful. Let's see. Oh, my soul, okay. Where's all those bright colors gonna go? This is very nice. One, two, eighty. I will lie them down, it's cold, I've got a warm, warm tracksuit top with cats on, on so I uh, struggle on the black a bit. 19 to 36. Now look when I lie down, then you're going to see what I mean. Look at the colours. Look how bright and magnificent they are. Look. They're shocking pink and purple and oh, that's a shocking orange. Just, just pretty. Now, 37 to 40, there you are. And I want to put them together. I'm going to do this different way around because this arm is wide. There you go. And there you go. Just beautiful. Now, I'm not packing them away because we need to see something, right? Okay, so if you don't want to do what I do, 
this will be the concerning part. This will be concerning if you don't do and this, the dark. Now, 37 of this one is, it's that peachy color. It will close it. There you go. It will close it. You know, I'm going to say it's going to close it because I got a way to close everything. So, so, but if you struggle and you don't want to do what I do, this will close that. But you're going to have to, if you wash normally, it comes out a bit. But I've got pictures. I've got everything. I will show you. 37. Uh, 12. 12 is that red in between, and that's quite... Oh, no, it's okay. Where is it? Alrighty then. What the... 12? Now, where is this color? Okay, let me just see what's going on here. Now, 31. Oh, no. I... 37. Okay, okay, okay. This is 31. This is the... It's like the sunset. There, it will cover it. Uh, that's 12. And then 26 is the lightest one. There you go. 26 is on the green. You're going to see through it if you don't do what I, I did. You definitely will. And then the solid red is number 5. Oh, no. That is black, so you won't see nothing there. You must just make sure your coverage is good. If your coverage is not good, make a thicker stitch. But I will show you a bit later. It, it's perfect. It comes out very good. Okay, so I can save this one if I choose to. Totally, totally. I just want to check the lightest color on this board. The lightest color on this board will be 33. And 33 is that sign. Oh, my soul. Where do I get that? It is just a plain, plain black half square. Let's see. Uh, oh, it's nearly three. It's those. No, they wash out. They fine. They fine. So, oh my. Oh, did I miss something here? No, I didn't. All right. While I pack this away, I just want to thank you for spending your time with me. And I want to ask all viewers that have not subscribed yet, please like and subscribe my channel. I will, will appreciate that so, so much. Now we're going to get to the part where I'm going to show you my chemistry. <laughs> I did a big, big, big um, thing and I experimented and I carried on like a crazy scientist. Now, this is my final product. No, I'm not going to show you the final yet. Let's just do this. Okay, so first of all, I tap the warmest water I could get in a basin. I added automatic washing powder. That is automatic detergent, not in liquid form, but in powder form. I added that in the water plus this. And remember the results I got here, I didn't rub, scrub, nothing. The worst I've done with my my um, my canvas was I squished the water out. That's all I did. I didn't scrub at all. Nothing, nothing, nothing. No scrubbing. No scrubbing at all. Nothing. So I put this in in that. I left it for two hours. I took it out and I rinsed it with warm water and I did it again for another two hours. So I did it twice. So the process started with a basin full of hot water with strong, strong washing powder or detergent, not liquid form, but powder form, plus this. Then, after that two hours, that makes four hours, I took it out, I rinsed it with warm water and I squished the water out. That's it. Then, what I did is I put the whole canvas in a big pot. I added this and washing powder again in a big, big pot. I brought it up to boil. I boiled it. I physically boiled it. But you must mix the water because I added two teaspoons of bicarbonate soda. Oh, this is leaking. So I, I added, no, I added a bit. I added quite a bit, but be careful because I did that and I didn't look and it boiled and it made a fountain. But I added this, 
to my, my washing powder or detergent and this, but I stirred until it boiled. It was hot, hot, hot. When it boiled, I stirred for about two minutes and I took the pot off. That pot I took off. I, I, it was about an hour. I let it lie there for an hour. It cooled down. I rinsed everything. I put new ones in. Not this. This. And detergent. I boiled for another hour. And I left it overnight. I just left it overnight. And I didn't rub scrub or nothing. I left it overnight. Now. The next morning. I decided. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do one more thing on this because I didn't scrub. I can get it out easily with hairspray, but I must scrub. I must rub, but I didn't rub scrub. The only rubbing, scrubbing, it wasn't done. But the only, it was when I twisted it like this to get the water out. That's it. Now, the next morning, I just squished the water out. I rinsed, the rinsed. I squished the water out. I took a bucket full of hot, hot water. I added a cup of bleach. Now, I know it's dangerous, but I was experimenting. So, I added bleach. This is the bleach you get in South Africa. It is strong bleach. So, I took bleach, a whole cup full, with about two liters of water, warm, warm water. I laid it in there for one hour. Only one hour. Okay, I forgot to make space. When I talk about these things, I'm going to add photos for you what the result was. There was results on all those that I'll show you the result. Now, I put them in the bleach. we there. So, I've left it in the bleach. I think it was, um, it was between three hours, just over three hours. I left it in that bleach because I wanted to see, does it color my threads and what will happen? So, are you ready? Okay. So, what happened after that three, three and a bit hours of bleaching, my floss didn't change at all. So, here's my floss after three and a half hours bleaching. Nothing. No color change. Absolutely nothing. Here is my Ada. It was three and a half hours bleach. That's why I save. I want to save something. It's savable. I'll show you very close up. Then you can see it. But if you were, this grid is not that bad. There was red. There was blue. There was green in this. It is light. So look at that. Can you see any grids? No. But now look carefully because there is stitches that are done. But you cannot see the grid. This is an 18 count. You cannot see the grid. Because it that's that's the part that shines through the most here. But it's so light, you cannot even see through your beige or white. You can't. So this is my result, and I am happy. If I feel I want to save something, I can save it. So this is after three and a half hour bleach. Say three and a half hours because it was about that time. And then this. It did not change and I put pure bleach in it. I even tried to put bleach right on top of it without water. It does not move. It, uh, it's color fast. So test your uh, stuff if you want to save yours. It is savable but I do not recommend in buying a new one until it washes out. Now there's a next, there's a, there's a next part of this. For all the stitches or for the new ones. Last year, I think October, they released the new 18 counts. And they all look like this. This is a different, different ink and a different print. It's all the Rose Manners. I think the castle, there's a few of them. The first print, the first print, um, 18 counts. It was October, November last year. I jumped, I bought them. As they came out. Now, you cannot save this. At all, you cannot save this. This is a different print. This print, if it looks like this, it does not wash out. You can do what you want. You can spray what you want. You can flip and, I don't know, throw it with rocks. Put it in a rock wash washer. It does not move. 
so sorry for all the people i am also one of them so all the first print rose manners there was a purple like um, a waterfall and that big castle in the sky i think uh, there was a beauty and the beast they do not wash out they do not move they do not do anything you can't do anything with them they don't move sorry they don't this is not savable all your rose manners and those that i mentioned is not savable i'm very sorry about it at least i've got a lot of floss here but um, I'm not even attempting it. I'll do tutorials on this. So this will go in my stash. The first print, 18 counts. It's only the first print, 18 counts. And there's only a few. I think there's 10. They do not move. They do not wash. They do not anything. Don't even attempt it. They don't. The print on top of them also looks different than the other ones where they actually tried other, other um, ink or other material, or other, I don't know what, but they do not move. So I really hope you found this very informative, but I am so happy with my results. I'm really, really happy with it, and it does not shine through, there's the proof. The ink doesn't move, there's the proof. But I do not recommend buying it. This is only for those few people that stitch a far away, or really want to save an image which we won't get again, because some of them we won't. We will not get all of them again. So yeah, I am super, super happy. But I'll wait and see what time brings. Um, I had to show you my results. And I had to show you that your grid lines do not shine through on lighter colors. It does not shine through. But you have to follow this process. And it's a tedious, long, hard-working process. That's only if you really, really want to save it. Now, I really hope you found this video informative and yeah, thank you for spending your time with me. Love you lots. Stitcherella.